intuitively, I think that I'm my purpose, the relevant my the relevance of my life here in this 3D reality is to learn lessons around love. Yeah. Love or relationship? I don't know. It feels a bit more expansive than relationships. Cool. Um, so I think there's some some work to be done around loving myself as well, Sweet. and it's something around unconditional love. Um, but I do want to have that experience of you know what what this couple were talking when they're talking about twin flames and unity. I'm like, wow, that would be so awesome. But and I and I've thought about that, and I'd really love to invite that in my life. And I've thought. Um, that would be so amazing to manifest that, but it's. I wonder if I, I want it so much because it's never. I've never. It's never come to me. Oh, but but do you see what you're saying there? It has never come to me. That's a focal point. That's a focus that completely exposes right now what you believe is true, and so it also shows you um, why you're attracting a lack of it. It's because you believe it has never come to you. So that's the story you tell yourself, that's the right. vibration that you have, that's the attitude that you have. Right. And if that's your attitude, that's what you'll see, that's what you'll get. So how do I change that? You tell me. <laughs> well, I don't know, intuitively I think maybe I should start with myself. Good. Um, learn to love myself unconditionally. But what does that mean? Um, just to believe that I am lovable. Um, yeah, uh, I'm mm, uh, worthy of being loved by someone, mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't know really whether I should be starting to look at myself, wh whether that's the starting point, mm -hmm. looking in within, and it how do I do that? What what does that look like? <laughs> well, do you see you're loved um, by creation? I I know that I am. Cognitively, I know that. But are you not? Are you not here? Do you not exist? Yes. Then how can you argue? With I don't. Loved or I not? don't argue with it. But how it, can you believe you're not loved if you exist? Yeah, but I don't feel it. Well, but that's a, that's just a statement. I can't feel it. Can you see that you can feel it? If you if your focus point is I can't feel this, then you won't feel it. If your focus point becomes I can feel it, then suddenly you feel it. Nothing changed except what you told yourself. Shouldn't I, shouldn't I, shouldn't it be a feeling? It, first it's a story. Right. First it's an attitude. Then it becomes a feeling. You can't feel what you're telling yourself you can't feel. Oh, so the thought is before the feeling? The statement is before the feeling. The thought is before the feeling, yes. So if my statement is, um, I am lovable. Uh huh. That starts to open up the vibrational gateway to then attract the experience of love. Right. But what if I don't, what if there's some part of me that doesn't totally believe that? Then you pinpoint the belief and you show the belief that it's not true. See that the belief itself is made out of love, out of light, out of consciousness, out of existence, mm. and that it's all love. It's all made out of love. This is all for the love of the Creator, by the love of the Creator, existing as the love of the Creator. There's no separation. Everything that exists is meant mm. to be here, is desired to be here, is loved, as it is here. So what do you suggest I do then, sort of med meditate on, on that concept? I'm not quite sure yes, I really you could. To, you can just see that. it, feel it, be it. What would it look like to be loved? See it until you feel it. And when you feel it, you start to act like it, behave like it, and believe in it, and then you become it. So imagine it first. Yes. And if I do that for long enough, I can feel it. Yeah, if you do it true enough, you will start to feel it. And then it has to manifest. It has to. <laughs> <laughs> it can it's not like your personal because guarantee. You, because you, <laughs> you are vibrationally creating your reality. You yeah. are shaping your dream. Yeah. When you put a certain current or vibration through what we see as matter, which is nothing mm -hmm. but energy, it will align itself and configure itself in such a way that it will take on the shape of the vibration that you exude. So if you exude the vibration of I am loved and you start to feel that and be it and behave as if, then life has no option but to give that to you because technically speaking, creation as you know it does not have a will of its own. 
people often believe that creation has a will of its own, and we're just sort of walking around that will, dealing with it. But in reality, nothing has a will of its own except for consciousness, or you. So you, tr you decide what reality becomes, and it always becomes whatever you say it becomes. Whatever you say it is, it becomes. So start saying things differently. Start opening that vibrational gateway in a different way. Start tuning your frequency differently. And sometimes it can be as simple as changing a story in your head. That might be the start of it. Yes, imagine it. See it, feel it, be it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.